Welcome to Thursday's mini challenge. This week, we our mini challenge is to observe and test our feeders. So you can use your feeders to make an observation of them, see what birds come to them, or you can use your feeder to test a question. Bird feeders are fun because they attract birds into our yards, but they can also be an important tool for observing and testing hypotheses. Feeders make it easy to see birds because they actually have to stop at the feeder in order to get food. When a bird stops where we expect them to, it is easier to identify than when it's in flight. It is great to get birds to your feeders, but it's really fun to know what kind of birds you have. So these are a few resources that show you the types of birds in an area. You can use them before going out bird watching or to see what's coming to your feeder. In addition to helping identify different species, bird feeders can be a great research tool. They easily allow you to test simple questions by changing one variable, and they're relatively inexpensive to buy and easy to make at home. For example, last week we made bird feeders out of recycled materials. My kids made almost identical feeders. We're going to use their feeders to test the question, do chickadees like bird food with mealworms in it better or plain bird seed. What did you guys put in your bird feeders? I put mealworms and bird seed. And what did you put, Griffin? I put just bird seed. Why were you guys interested in studying bird seed? So we could see which birds came to the feeders. And how about see, you, Griffin? To see uh, if the more birds came to the feeder with mealworms or without mealworms. All right, Mari, what is your hypothesis? What do you think is going to happen? Um, that chickadees are going to come to my feeder because I put mealworms in. Okay. And Griffin, what is your hypothesis? I think that more birds will go to the um, bird feeder with mealworms because there's more food in the, the mealworms are healthy and there's more food in there. Why do you think the songbirds and chickadees will like the food with mealworms? Because mealworms have protein in them. So Griffin and Mari made data collection sheets um, in order to see which birds were coming to the feeder. Can you show us your sheets? And they have bird books to help identify which birds they see at the feeder. In science, it is important to only test one variable at a time. Your test variable can range from things like the color of the feeder to the height of the feeder, type of feeder, different kinds of food at the feeder. But it is important to only change one variable at a time. In an ideal world, we would repeat this experiment multiple times so we can be very confident in the patterns that we see are not just from random chance. Scientists call these repeats of the same experiment a replicate. We'll go into this in more depth in our specific project design and data analysis video. Mari and Griffin are spending five minutes each watching the feeders in the morning and then again in the afternoon. Each day they record the number of visits to the feeder. They could have also weighed or measured the amount of seed they put in and reweighed it each week to see which feeder was more popular. Why did you choose not to weigh the bird food? Why did you decide to count birds instead? Because we were worried that another animal might eat it and then that would make the bird feeder weigh less. Bird feeders can be bought or made and they make a great way to get into scientific research. It allows a person of any age who is interested in research to really figure out how to test a hypothesis by changing a variable and then collect data over time. Hopefully, at the end of their data collection, they'll know more about their hypothesis and maybe even have an answer to their question. You can learn more about types of food and feeders at Project Feeder Watch. You can also use feeders to help others collect data for their research. Project Feeder Watch from Cornell University would be a great way to participate in a science project next year. Thank you for joining us today. 
On our website, we have some data sheets that you can modify and use. We would love for you to share your photos of your feeders, data sheets, birds you've seen at your feeders, and eventually your findings.